purpose of doing the pourings, it's fun enough as it is, but it's not really my final purpose. I am collaging with them. So I've got my pouring, I'm looking at both sides. Start here and cut this. If you're doing this at home and you're not experienced, it's probably a good idea to take a little extra time and put some matte medium on it. And it's probably a good idea to let it cure. This is not cured for very long at all. This, this pouring is only a few days old. And I'm following the natural lines of the pouring. So now I'm gonna lay these out. I like these two pieces. I don't know what's, what I'm gonna do with them. These little ends get to be tricky, but that's okay. So let's come back in here and cut along the edge. Come back out like that. Now I'm gonna take this and turn it back over because the other side was really pretty too. So let's cut up some of that. You can't be afraid about cutting these up. I'm gonna take this and see how I like that there. It's kind of nice. I'll round it off just a little bit. So I'm just gonna stick this like this. And there you go. And I like that. Now that's gonna stick on its own pretty well. It won't stick to the canvas. Now this is not coming apart. I really like these edges and I don't wanna lose those. So I'm gonna move this over here. So there you go. It gives you your basic ideas to what, what's happening. This is kind of an interesting little area. Just have fun with it. So that's kind of too big through there. So I'm gonna cut it off a little more. Put it like that maybe. I'm just trying to make it look very organic and like it flows together. And we're moving really quickly here. And we can use this little piece somewhere. It's a really pretty little piece. Just clip the corners so it's not so... straight. Stick that on there. So let's see how this collage process works. You get a little matte medium. I'm gonna use a recycled bowl. And I'm probably gonna mix it with gloss medium to give it a little more transparency. So I'm gonna lift this up here and I'm just gonna slap down a bunch of medium. Not being scientific about it. I'm just basically getting it down there thickly. Paint on top of it. You don't have to paint on top of it, but I usually do. Make sure it gets in there. And then I just do it piece by piece. Now some people build these collages off the canvas on the side or something like that when they're doing it. Some of my, some of my students would get really freaked out at the idea of not having it exactly the way they plan it. But I don't worry about it. But if you want to build it to one side, that's okay. Don't worry about getting the medium on too thick. It's better to get it too thick than too thin. If it should, after you get finished and it's dry, if it should bubble up because you didn't get medium under all of it, you can come back in with a razor blade and slit in an angle, lift up the bubble, slap more medium down, and put it back down. Now you could do all kinds of things with these. You don't have to do any particular thing. You could cut circles, you could cut, cut out any kind of shape you want. You could make objects out of them. You could do flowers with different petals or something like that. Um, I'm gonna use my brayer to just sort of get it down on there and make sure there's no bubbles. Now this will dry clear and it'll look a lot like it did initially when we first put it down. So that's the basics of collaging with the pourings.